team. My name is Mihaela. We'll be working together on listening for IELTS. Um, and we have 10 questions for you to work on today. So let's start working. I have with me Vicentiu. Hi, Vicentiu. Hi. Hi. I also have Alex, but he's uh, um, just listening to us. Ah. Um, so we'll, <clears throat> we'll start working. You know that IELTS is an international exam and you prepare for it if you want to work or study abroad, uh, specifically in an English speaking country. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, what you have to do for listening and the type of exercises that we'll be working on today. Well, uh, for listening, you will listen to various conversations, recordings, and you have to answer questions based on the information that you hear. Um, our exercise today is about a survey. So you will hear two people speaking, um, one asking questions and one answering questions. And you will have to complete the information based on the information that you hear in the recording. And you have to write them down. And I'm going to share my screen. I hope you can see my screen. Yes, yes. Great. OK, so we'll move to the actual exercise. At the very beginning, you have a little bit of time to go through some of the questions. I'm going to play now the recording. So you're going to hear a little bit as well the, the introduction into the speaking, the listening exercise. And also in the meantime, you can pay attention to the groups of information here, the category of information that you have to provide about this person. So, okay. Oh, sorry, that was a little. No problem. One second. I will start with the recording. And where should I uh, should I uh, fill the the answer? I I will show you the questions in a little bit. Okay. One second. There they are. Can you hear it? Uh, yes. Oh, no, 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 uh, the recording, no. Ah, okay. No. Okay, then just a little I was bit. waiting for, for it, but oh, okay. well, it didn't start. I could hear it. Okay, just a second then. Well, in the meantime, you will see that when you have different people speaking, you have also a man and a woman. Sometimes there will be multiple people speaking and you have um, just uh, two men or two, two women speaking. So you will be able to figure out who's who. Um, just a second. Let's try again. Can you hear it now? No. Nurture in a health club. Yes. About her membership of the club. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five.
you will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if you'd have the time to take part in some market research. Um, what's it about? About this club and your experiences and opinions about being a member. It'll take less than five minutes. Oh, OK then, as long as it's quick. <laughs> Can I start by taking your name? It's Selina Thompson. Is that T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N? Yes. OK, great. Thanks. The woman's name is Thompson, with a P. So Thompson has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Oh, excuse me. I wonder if you'd have the time to take part in some market research. Um, what's it about? About this club and your experiences and opinions about being a member. It'll take less than five minutes. Oh, OK then, as long as it's quick. <laughs> Can I start by taking your name? It's Selina Thompson. Is that T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N? Yes. OK, great. Thanks. And what do you do for a living? Well, I'm an accountant, but I'm between jobs at the moment. I understand. Number one? Accountant. Accountant, right? Yeah. Great. But that's the job I'll put down on the form. And would you mind my asking which age group you fall into? Below 30, 31 to 50, and above? Over 50. <laughs> I think we can safely say. <laughs> Number two? Over 50. Over 50, and you'll write 50 with um, digits. Uh, Numbers. Yes. Right. Wh wh where can I uh, uh, fill the, the answer? I well, you will, write, you will write down um, here. Not For the class now, you don't have... Ah, okay. Okay, well, yeah, I see. What, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, you, what you can do afterwards is you can comment to the live class on Facebook and you can write down the answers in the comments. I would actually suggest that you do that for then um, people to see. Okay. Okay, That's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to number three. <laughs> great, thanks. <laughs> And which type of membership do you have? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean how long? Of... No, is it a single person membership? Oh, right. No, it's a family membership. Thanks. Number three. Family membership. Family. You can write just family or family mm -hmm. membership, both words. And how long have you been a member? Oh, let me see. Uh... I was certainly here five years ago, and it was probably two to three years more than that. Mm -hmm. Shall I put down eight? Oh, I remember now. It's nine, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> number four? Nine. Nine. You can write the number nine or with letters. The digit or the number yeah. with letters. Okay, let's see, five. No problem. I've got that. And the last question in this first part is, what brought you to the club? Uh, sorry? Uh, how did you find out about the club? Did you see any ads? Well, I, I did, actually. But I have to say, I wasn't really attracted to the club because of that. It was through word of mouth. So you were recommended by a friend? <laughs> Actually, my doctor. Oh. I'd been suffering from high blood pressure, and he said the club was very supportive of people with that condition, so... Number five? By her doctor? Doctor? Do doctor, yes. Good. Now, they're going to make a little break because you're going to look at questions six to ten. So, okay. pay attention to the categories, how many visits, which facilities she uses, she doesn't use and any suggestions. So let's hear that. So I signed up. Mm, great, thanks. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions six to ten.
Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Now, for the second part of the form, I want to ask a bit more about your experience of the club. Sure. Uh, how often would you say you use the club? <sighs> it varies enormously, depending on how busy I am. Mm, of course. But on average, per month? I'd say it averages out at twice a week. OK, so eight on average. Yeah, and four of those are aqua aerobics classes. That leads me to the next question. Would you say the swimming pool is the facility you make most use of? Fair to say that, yep. Right. Number six? Uh, number six is eight, and seven oh. is... No, we already have eight here, so you don't have to actually provide that so twice answer. A, twice a week, twice a week. Well, twice a week is eight per month. So you don't have to provide this information. Then they talk about the facilities most used. Where is she going when she goes to the health club? The swimming pool? Yes, yes, the swimming pool. Oh, okay, swimming pool, okay. Yes, so eight was already yeah, provided. Yeah. It's in the notes, yeah, you I don't see. have to do anything. Yeah, okay. okay, so swimming okay, pool is six. Yes, now they're going to move to the facilities she doesn't use, number seven. Thanks. And are there any facilities you don't use? Hmm. One area I realise I've never used is the tennis courts. Mm. And there's one simple reason for that. You don't play tennis? <laughs> Actually, I'm not bad at it. Oh. It's that I'm not happy having to pay extra for that privilege. Oh. Seven. Um... Tennis court because the, the, he he doesn't want to pay extra. Yes, so reluctant to pay extra. So you have write down pay extra as an answer for yeah. seven. Okay, good. Let's listen for eight. Right, I've made a note of that. Thanks. Hmm. <clears throat> now, in the last section, are there any suggestions or recommendations you have for improvements to the club? Only about health and fitness? Anything at all. Well, I'd like to see more social events. Oh. It isn't just a question of getting together for games or classes, but other things, you know. Yes, yeah, sure. Eight? Social events. Yes, good. OK, now let's listen for both nine and ten, and yeah. then you tell me at the end both of them. OK. Yes. And another thing that I was thinking when I had my yoga class in the gym last night, we were all sweltering in the heat, uh, was that I think they should put in, well, you know... Uh, Air conditioning. Uh, that's exactly what I mean. Mm. The rooms are really light and well designed, but they do need proper installations. Sure. Well, I've made a note of that. Good. So, is there anything else you'd like to suggest uh, about quality of service, for example? Oh, everyone's very nice here. They couldn't be more friendly and helpful. Oh, but I tell you what, it's a shame the restaurant isn't open in the evening on Saturday. And Sunday as well, for that matter. Oh. So, the club should... Yeah, open it later on those days. OK. Well, thank you very much. That's <laughs> all the questions I have. That is the end of section one. Okay, let's see. So, Nine and ten? Nine is air conditioning and uh, ten uh, Sunday or and uh, Saturday. Uh, like well, I'm it, well so, Saturday and Sunday would be weekends here in the notes. So what exactly does she say that should be open later on Saturdays and Sundays? Uh, the gym? The restaurant. The restaurant, yeah. The restaurant. Sorry, no. oh, okay, good. Well, you did very well. So that was very good. Um, and that was section one. Then you have three more sections because the listening part has four sections. Um, different types of exercises, but this would be an example of section one. What do you think mm -hmm. of it? Well, I think it's easy. Uh, about the restaurant, uh, I just I just forgot, but... Uh, but you heard it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Great. Sure. That, sure. That's very good. The point is that as you listen to the 
conversations or as you listen to the recordings, you have to write them down at the same time with, with hearing them because they speak a little bit extra and you might forget or you might lose, yeah. get confused a little bit with the information. Um, okay. Other than that, you did very well. So congratulations. Thank you. I will stop sharing now. Um, well, this has been our lesson for today, uh, listening for IELTS section one, we had 10 questions. Um, thank you for joining me. And then if you have any comments or if you have any um, information or any questions, please let us know, write down in the comments. And Vicente, will you, will you comment with the, um, with the results of the test? Yes, of course. Great. Well, thank you, okay. Vicente. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have too. a good day. Have a Bye. good day too.